There have been so many influential women in my life, um, and but I would say that one of the most influential was my grandmother, is my grandmother, Kathleen Wise. Um, she is just an amazing person. She was a psychiatric social worker, so she was a civil servant working for the health department. Um, she worked with teenage mothers to help them have healthy pregnancies and healthy babies and help them with parenting skills and other things they needed to be successful. She's uh, very well read, very well traveled, um, very well cultured. She made sure I always had opportunities to go to the theater or go see music, just different artistic uh, events. And I have such an appreciation for that today and it's because of her. Um, she, she gave me the appreciation of uh, a beautifully wrapped present and how much that means to someone. And uh, when hosting uh, a gathering, having a beautiful table set, um, just the, the details. She is very compassionate. She is very forgiving. Um, and she was a very hard worker. Um, and she, she's just pretty much a rock star. I started at the Comptroller's office in um, January of 2016. Um, I was working in private sector in HR and I got a call and an opportunity to come join the Comptroller's office as a special assistant to the then Chief of Staff. I did that for about six months and then I moved into a Deputy Chief of Staff role and handled all of the Comptroller's scheduling um, and events planning and, and that that kind of thing for him. After about a year and a half there, there was a need to have a deputy director for human resources. So I was moved up there based on my background um, and, and experience in that field. I served as the deputy director for about a year and then the director retired. So I was tapped to move into the director role. Um, it has been such a wonderful journey here and with a wonderful team and um, I feel blessed and privileged every single day. There's a lot of responsibility that comes with being a leader um, and being a woman leader there are special pitfalls that that can happen. Um, I try to be a servant leader. I try to look at things through a lens of I'm serving even my employees. It allows me to be more compassionate. Um, it allows me to build trust. It allows me to hear their wonderful ideas um, and, and get to watch them grow professionally and help me grow professionally. I learn from them every day. Um, and it, it is, it's, it's an honor. Um, there's a balancing act because women are judged, tend to be judged more harshly. So we have to be a little more careful with our, the way we present an idea so we don't become too aggressive. And um, I don't think that happens with men. Every day I have to work just a little harder to prove myself that I do deserve my position. I am good at my position. I am proficient with my knowledge base. So I guess in a nutshell, I feel privileged and grateful for the opportunity. And I hope that I lead by example for my staff, for my colleagues, um, and for anybody that uh, observes me in my professional role. The woman's issue meaning the most to me is the equity in the workplace for women, um, making sure women have a seat at the table, that when decisions are being made, the table reflects the population um, in which we live, the community in which we live, and not just a certain sector of that population. I think it's incredibly important to include women's voices. We have a lot to bring to the table and uh, not including women, we miss out. So it's, I definitely like to see more women progress in their careers. And I like to see women in leadership roles. They just look at life differently.